Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back with another Norwich episode. Only two days since the last episode, so you guys know what's happening. We've got Newcastle in the Cup, in the FA Cup, round of 16, so we're getting there. Then we've got Sheffield United, then Southampton, then Everton. And then if we're in the, into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, I'm guessing that match would be there. We've got four games, may potentially have five. Right, so Newcastle at home first. I just want to say here, uh, so I watched... Um, Red Bull Salzburg play yesterday? Day before? What day is it today? Either way, I watched them play in the Champions League. Haaland was amazing. Um, very unlucky not to have three. So this is the team we're going with for this one. Um, a bit of a makeshift defence because we've not got Sam Byron back yet. So Tim Cullen goal, then we've gone with uh, Philip Heiser right back and it's Hanley Bartley close at centre back, Niz at left back. Amadou Vrancic McLean in the midfield, and then Dermich and Shabeni uh, up front together. It's. Yeah, we've had to put Heiser in at right back because of the obvious injury to Sam Byram and tried to rotate and not uh, burn out Max Aarons. You know how we're going to do this one anyway. We're going to just show the goals for this one. Oh no, he's been turned. Yes, Bartley, and oh, okay, that was going to happen. Oh, come on, Shabeni. Surely, he's got to score. There we go, 1-1. One, one. I was about to say 1-0. One, 1-1. One, one. One. We're still in it, and even Dennis Shabeni can score. Alright, Amadou. McLean, Brancic, Shabeni finds Kenny McLean. Surely, there we go, 2-1. Parity restored. This is how it should be. We beat them 3-0 at their place last episode, and now 2-1. Okay, there we have it. Full time, 2-1. Uh, we're into the quarterfinals. So... Basically, I'll give a quick rundown other than the goals. Very good performance. Uh, Dennis Shabeni got a goal and an assist. Yep. Uh, I thought Philip Heiser played all right at right back to say he's out of position. Uh, you can see the play ratings for our centre backs there was very good. Um, Bartley, Hanley and Closer started at centre back as well. I then moved Philip Heiser over into central back and moved Ben Godfrey and brought Ben Godfrey on for Tim Closer. Very good performance from from the whole team. Uh, Ibrahim Amadou put in a good performance, Kenny McLean, Oyal Hernandez could have scored one at the end as well. But yeah, so we're into the next round. Some questions regarding the match. You are through to the Emirates FA Cup next round with this win. Do you feel you can win the competition? Um, it's all up to us. We certainly have quality on our side, but we need to make sure we don't allow our performance level to drop. We managed to win a close match with a decisive goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? I think we deserve to win based on how we played. We created enough chances and the score could have been even bigger. Well, so so. Muto was one of the best players of the opposition today. How difficult was it to block? Uh, we just played our game. I always say that every single time. Thanks, we well just played our game. Oh, look who we've got. So, we now have... I wonder how I'm going to fit this onto my thumb now. We have Sheffield United away, and then Sheffield United in the cup. Away. So we might as well just stay in Sheffield for the full week. So then we've got Southampton at home, Everton at home. Okay. Um, well, we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so this is the team we're going with for this one. Sheffield United away in the league. I believe this one's the Premier League one, and then it's the Cup next week. We've got Fairman in goal, Aaron's Bartley, Godfrey, Zimmerman, Lewis. I thought uh, Bartley did very well in the last match, so even though he is a little bit tired, I'm going to play him anyway. Uh, then I'm going Tribal, Leitner, Buendia, Hernandez, and Haaland. Um, decided to start Hernandez up front. I think he's definitely got the pace to cause a few problems. Finds O'Neill Hernandez, Haaland. Nope, carry on your run, Hernandez. 
Right, here we go. Back to Aaron's. Emi Buendia heads the ball across. Light now. Weak header. Right, there we go. Buendia to the light now. Back to Emmy. Oh, good save by Dean Henderson. Right, Moritz Leitner. Oh, I have no idea who that came off. I think it was Haaland. Right. And uh, no. Nope. Yes. Okay, Moritz Leitner. Tom Tribal. Tonel Hernandez. Oh. Right. Come on, Haaland. Win the header. No. Nope. It's just not happening today. Okay, half time. Uh, not the best of games so far, but I definitely think that it's a game that's there to be won still. We've had all the shots apparently. Okay then. Did not realise that. Oh no. Right. Ooh, okay. Well saved there by Ralph Fairman. Definitely should have stopped the cross from getting in. There we go. Right, Ronel Hernandez finds Moritz Leitner. Right, Moritz Leitner can then find Max Ahrens. Oh, away by Jack O'Connell. But Tom Tribal picks it up. Is Emmy Buendia. Oh, straight at Dean Henderson. Oh no. Right. Oh, what? Okay, well they've just been given a free kick there. Jamal Lewis is probably going to get sent off now in FIFA. No? Okay, just a booking. I mean, I can't be too unhappy with the booking, but surely you just play on, ref. Right. And it's away by Bartley. And it, then it's headed away again by Zimmerman this time. Okay, Haaland. Finds Leitner in so much space. Ah, another save by Dean Henderson. Tom Tribal. Ah, oh, I thought that was going top corner. Headed away by Christoph Simon again. Ravel Morrison. Oh. Why did nobody stay on the edge of the box with him? Oof, okay. Right, Haaland finds O'Neill Hernandez. Right, O'Neill runs through, cuts it back, finds Haaland, then finds Hernandez again. Marks Leitner, surely, oh. Surely their man of the match has to have been Dean Henderson, because he has saved them a few times, but there we go. Nil-nil at the end of that one. Um, that was with a relatively strong side, probably missing just about Amadou to make it even stronger. And there you go, eight shots for me, two for them. So we did so we did everything right, we just couldn't finish. And it's pretty much the opposite of Norwich this season. For your last two encounters with Sheffield United, you could not score a decisive goal. Is your offence having difficulties in scoring? Um, our offense, is, our, our North City's attacking players are in great shape. Sheffield United's defenders just managed to hold them off this time. I think they play three at the back as well, don't they? Well, a really tightly tight contest today. What was your overall impression of the, of the performance? We should have won. The lads are disappointed in there, and they should be. We simply didn't perform today. Certainly not to the best of our ability. And with all due respect to Sheffield United, games we should be winning. Did you aim for today's result? I don't get why anybody would ever aim for a nil-nil. Of course not. Our objective is to compete and win. It wasn't the case this time out, but that's football. All you can do is look to 
improve and move forward. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we've had a transfer offer come in for Michael McGovern, 590,000. I'm going to accept it, even though it's below his, his value. It's just wages off the book, really. Um, next season, we will hopefully have our goalkeeper situation. Oh, here we go. Someone else has come in. 620,000. Next season, we will hopefully have uh, our goalkeeper situation sorted for long term. Boss, I'm fully recovered after my broken toe injury and I'm hoping you'll put me back in the squad today. Um, see you back in action. I look forward to see you back in action and I hope you'll be at the peak of your game. FA Cup time. Twice this episode we've got the FA Cup. My team for this one, we're going with Tim Krull in goal. We've got Sam Byram at right back. Then we're going closer, Odesina Hanley, Heiser at left back. We're going Teddy Adshead, Steeperman in midfield, and then Roberts and Shabeni. Giving Patrick Roberts a run out up front. Oh no, losing the ball there, Alex Teddy, bad place. Billy Sharp, and of course Billy Sharp scores. Right, well that's the first goal that's been scored between us and Sheffield United this season. Nope, don't let this be a goal. Oh, good save by Tim Kroll. And, wait, did that go in? Oh, what on earth. I didn't even realise that that went in. Um, right, well, we're going to make some changes anyway. I was going to make some changes thinking that it was a goal kick, but... So, we lose 2-0. Uh, that's what happens when you play your rotated side in the cup and they play full strength. But we never really looked like scoring anyway. We were, in truth, uh, we were pretty poor in that one. One shot and it was off target. And I don't even remember. I genuinely don't even remember having a shot. Oh, it was long range anyway. Um, let's go into the interview after the game. Your side was thrashed today by Sheffield United. Any impressions? Um, questions like that only motivate us to do better next time. I hope my boys are listening to this interview. Byron's return didn't do much to change the fate of the match. Is his selection to blame for today's result? Um, coming back from injuries like from an injury like Sam did, first matches are the hardest as the player is scared he'll re-injure himself. I have no doubt he'll get better as he regains. I mean, in fairness, he wasn't that bad. Did not score today and ended up losing the game. Um, we couldn't play our usual game. Sheffield United, yeah. You can read that one, I'm not going to bother reading it out. Team and Pookie wants to be selected more. You still have your. Over the last couple of matches, I've tried different tactics, but you have your place in the squad, yeah. He's going to have to play this match. Well, he's going to have to play at least one of them anyway. Right, Amadou's come to me. And said, I've been pretty, been in pretty good form lately and I'm feeling good, so I hope you're not going to bench me against Southampton. Um, I'll consider it. And three players leaving on international duty, including our 64-rate goalkeeper. Southampton at home now. So this is the team we're going with for this one. We've gone with Ralph Fairman in goal. We're going Aarons Bartley, Godfrey, Zimmerman, Lewis. Amadou, Lightning, McLean in midfield. And then Harland and Pookie. Let's see how this one goes. Can McLean finds Moritz Leitner. Timu Puki! Oh, straight at Angus Gunn. Southampton's got the worst away record in the Premier League. That's always good to know. Of course, James Ward Prowse gets involved. There we go, Ralph Fairman with the save. Max Aarons, yes. Ah, oh, nearly. Right, here we go. Harland. Finds Jamal Lewis. Timu Puki, there we go. He scores at Carra Road. Starting to get a little bit tense. And then Timu Puki comes up with the goods. Right. 
Kenny McLean. Marks Leitner. Cross in. Harland can't miss. And Harland doesn't miss. This is a new one. I've not seen this before. There we go. 2-0. Moritz Leitner with an amazing cross in. Literally, Harland cannot miss that. If he does, I'm very angry with him for that one. Oh, ref. Oh, Danny Ings with the header down and Vestergaard. Surely that's offside. Is it not? Well. Controversy. Let's take a look at this because I'm sure he was in an offside position. No, he wasn't. Don't know who it was who was keeping him on, but... Oh dear. Best of God. He's got four goals, so that's not a bad return for a centre back. Right, Jamal Lewis. Cross in. Penny McLean, surely. Oh, couldn't get the power. Right, there we go. Good play there. Smart Slight and winning the ball, getting. Oh. Team Pukki to Kenny McLean. Harland, I have a feeling he's offside. Oh yeah, he was offside. Gun made the save anyway, but... And surely that's going to be half-time. There we go, yep. So, not a bad half. That is very much your typical Norwich performance. Uh... Good going forward, getting caught out defensively. Timu into Haaland. Oh, just showed too much of the ball to him. Leitner! Oh. Right, Timu Puki. He's up against Yoshida. Timu Puki. Oh, easy one for Angus Gunn in the end. And. No idea what happened there. Ralph Fairman kind of just left it when he shouldn't. And then throws it straight out. Then... There we go, Jamal Lewis. Back to Christoph Zimmerman. Finds Kenny McLean. Timu Puki finds Haaland. Nice little flick around the corner. And Haaland has his first brace for Norwich. There we have it. One of Europe's best youngsters is already on five goals when we only signed him in January. Uh, and I have to say, what a flick this was from Team Pookie. I'm going to show you guys the outside of the boot flick. So, ball comes into Team Pookie, he just goes, there you go, have a bit of that. Took out Yoshida and Elvedi. And... Yeah, I mean, what a great finish as well. Kenny. All right, I mean, uh, nope. Oh, Ralph Fairman needs to be doing better there. So does our defenders, in fairness, but isn't this just a typical Norwich performance? Or it's Leitner. Oh. Right, Oriol Romeu. There we go, Max Ahrens. Oh, Haaland flicks the ball on for Puki. Browns Vestergaard. Puki, 4 2. Last kick of the game, and it's 4 2 now, so we will take that one. Haaland and Puki. I don't know why I haven't played them together more often because they work so well. Moments like that. Um, I'm going to actually go back and show the, the little flick on from uh, from Haaland here. So, ball forward from Carl Bartley. I wasn't actually trying to get it that long. I was actually trying to just get it over to, I think it was Amadou. But, nice little flick around the corner from Haaland. He just knew where Pookie would be, mostly because I told him that that's where Pookie would be. But 
Uh, and then a great finish as well. 4-2. What a match. And there we have it. <sighs> Full time, 4-2. And I can relax now. That was some great attack and play by Southampton though, I have to be honest. But probably should have done a bit better with their second. But you can't save them all, so... Yeah, we will just... Um, two for Pookie, two for Haaland. Pookie's now on double figures, Haaland is now on five. With two goals to secure a win, Haaland was the hero today. Well, and Pookie. Any th what are your thoughts? Um, I'm very impressed with the way Haaland played today. It was a world-class performance. There we go. Coming into this one, there wasn't much between your side and Southampton. Did you have any doubts you'd come away with a win? Um, I always expect to win. The only real question is by how much. There we go. Congratulations, you managed to defeat Southampton this time. What did you think of this match? Um, Southampton was not prepared to face us this time around. Our last encounter yeah, no was further. a lot more challenging. There we go. Right, so, so far, we have... So far this month, we've played... Sheffield United and Southampton in the league. How did we do against them? So Southampton we drew 1-1 away and Sheffield United we drew 0-0. Right, Josip Dermot says he wants to play more matches. You still have your place in the squad. Uh, Amadou says thank you for letting me get out there and play. Um, keep it up. I expect this type of performance every week. If you keep it up you'll be a certain starter. Yeah. Only issue is Amadou is going back to Sevilla at the end of the season, so I don't really want to rely on him. Michael McGovern's no longer going to Lugano. So the team we're going with for this one, Fairman in goal, Byron closer, Hanley, Zimmerman, Heiser. Zimmerman stays in the team. Obviously he's captain, he's very good, uh, so we kind of need him still in the team. Considering the fact that there's no other fully fit centre-back, so it only makes sense for him to be the one to keep his place. Uh, Tribal, Vrancic, Buendia in the midfield, and then Dermic and Ida. Now, I'm not expecting the same free-flowing attack in football as we had last match with Puki and uh, and Haaland, but hopefully we can at least get back a few. Oh, Hanley, I don't know why he did that. I did tell him to tackle, because I thought they still had the ball, but then they just gave the ball to me, so... Okay, well, we could maybe have got off to a bit of a better start than this. Way by closer though. And here's Josip Dermich. Finds Adam Ida. Space for Emi Buendia. And the keeper saved it, of course. Right, Emi Buendia's corner in. Punched away by Pickford, but it will only... Oh no, Davis gets it away. Very entertaining start to this one, to be fair. Right, Tom Davis, Sergio and Rich, straight into the hands of Ralph Fairman. And Tim Closer heads away, but it, the referee's gone and given a free kick. <sighs> Looking for Tom Tribal. This match has uh, not gone to plan so far. That's a damage. Nope. Adam Ida can't get there first. Too slow to react to it. Richarlison. Yes. Ralph, well saved by Ralph Fairman. Right. Here's Emmy. Two minutes. Adam Ida, come on. Yes, there we go. Adam Ida scores at Carrow Road. 1-0. And having been... I, and I, I cannot underestimate this. Absolutely dominated this match. Most of the time when they've missed chances, it's been because they've not been clinical rather than us good defending. Uh, and then... Adam Ida gets a chance and he goes and puts one away. Usually it happens the other way where you can dominate games and then you end up going behind. This time we've been absolutely like we've I think that's like our second chance of the match. First one was the Emmy Buendia one. 
it's half time now and that was only our second chance of the match and it's ended up in the back of the net right come on branch hitch no it's not what I mean when I say come on branch hitch and there we go 1-1 one, one. and to be honest I can't complain Everton deserve it oh and then they just go and bring on Bernard okay as you do Oh, good save by Ralph Fairman. Yes, another good save by Ralph Fairman there. Sam Byram. Surely that's got to be a penalty. It just comes straight through the back of him. Oh yeah, but that's given as an advantage. Oh, come on. That's a load of rubbish. Yes, Hanley. Nope. Tom Davis, okay, here we go. Right, Ralph Fairman, oh no, never mind. 2 1 defeat, it's frustrating. Doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere in the race for Europe now, but um, that week has killed me. Um, obviously, beating Southampton was good. But the fact that we had three games in six days obviously meant I had to rotate because otherwise it probably would have ended up with players injured. Or at least by the end of the game they would have been gassed, basically. So, uh, our confidence is solid. Seems the second match against Everton didn't go as planned. What went wrong? Uh, I don't have an explanation. Can't you imagine? Clearly something is wrong with our tactics. Well, that's not what that said. So... And they got after they got ahead in the second half, Norwich City could not pull level. Uh, we couldn't play our usual game. Yeah, Everton deserved it. They were they were much better than us. Now though, it looks like it was literally just weekend to weekend. So we might be able to salvage something. Todd Cantwell has returned from injury, uh, so he will be back soon. One of our youth players wants out, and then there's I've just got a few more players to look at. This guy was recommended to me. There's actually a couple of guys who was recommended to me who actually look like being very good players. I will admit. To the guy who recommended them, thank you very much. Because uh, they are going to be very good. Hopefully. Ooh. Uh, right, Michael McGovern has had another accepted. Uh, he did actually reject the other contract from Conscious for Tom Tribal has suffered a, a sprained knee. Excellent. Just like real life Norwich. Ooh, press conference. You know what, we'll save that for the, when we next, we'll save that for the next one. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and until the next video, I will see you then.